morning. I will be whispering because Isaac's asleep in there. Everybody else in the house is asleep. The sun rose not that long ago. It's 8.30 a.m. right now. Happy Sunday. Doing a pre-run snack. Have a go-go squeeze. I'm about to go on a five mile run. I've never even ran four miles. I don't know how this is gonna go. Today's also Super Bowl Sunday. So here is my plan is that I wanted to wake up and run first thing in the morning, get that out of the way. So I'm gonna do that. I was gonna come back, you know, shower. And then I think the bookstore, Morgan starts, I think that opens at 11 and I was gonna go there and edit, finish editing my vlog that's going up today. They also have like a cafe in there. So I thought about going in there. So I wanted to be done with my run by like 10. So my goal is to get out of here before nine. So I'm gonna spend the next few minutes like stretching, going to the bathroom, and then we're gonna run five miles five miles so not excited for this i was supposed to run yesterday but the fact that i've never even ran four miles and i have to run five miles today i took a rest day let me check my running plan what is today the 14th no <laughs> so we have five miles today yeah next sunday i have to run a 10k which is 6.2 miles wow i'm going to stretch Put my hair up also it is like 30 degrees outside and i didn't pack pants i have this i don't know like once you're running i feel like you don't get like super cold like my legs don't get cold so i think i might just rock with this i also have this i might throw this one over this and then if it gets hot i can just like tie this around my waist or something <laughs> yeah, not too bad it actually doesn't feel too bad outside. I thought it was gonna feel like super cold, but honestly, it's not bad. I don't know how good this angle is. <sighs> it's not too bad, but honestly, I hope that my feet don't get, and not my feet, oh my god, my hands don't get super cold because that's like the only thing on my body that gets really cold is like my hands. I thought I had forgot headphones, and I was like, guess I can't run. <laughs> forgot my headphones. I forgot that I literally always have my gym bag with headphones, so of course these are freezing, but we're gonna throw these on. And I like these because they're adaptive with your environment. So they can be noise canceling, but also like if they feel like you need to be like alert, they I keep on hearing things. They go full transparency. Let's start this run. a whole entire clip to the camera two and a half in so it's time to turn around get the five like go the other two and a half back home because i can't just like run five miles away from the house and then walk five miles back catch my breath for a second i have no shame in my game i have to start running uphill again i'm walking i don't know if it's just how cold it is and everybody's looking at me like i'm crazy because everybody out here walking is like bundled up and i you know in shorts and I can't feel my legs. I'm going uphill right now. This is not... Lighting terrible in this car right now. These jeans that I have on, I got from Aritzia. And I like everything else about them, except for the fact that they are so freaking long. Like I am so short that they don't really fit properly. We're gonna head to the bookstore. I mean, it's like 1040 and the bookstore is literally like three minutes away. So we're gonna be there pretty early. They have a cafe, multiple different things in their cafe. So I'm definitely going to be snagging a coffee and a something for breakfast. My hair is not hairing with me today. I had it in a claw clip all yesterday and it looked so cute and then of course today i go to throw it in a claw clip no going i don't know if anybody else is like this but like going somewhere like when they have a cafe like this i like to look via you know the website i like to scope out if you will what they have going on menu wise 
and I was on the website and there's no like actual menu and for some reason that always makes me like freak out because I hate the like especially if it's like an unknown place I hate the like going up and then not knowing what to order and I'm just kind of sitting there and I'm like um because 85% of the time I'm ordering something I'm panic ordering and it's nothing that I want so I'm really hoping that maybe I can get a good seat in the cafe and then scope out what they have. I'll tell you guys something exciting that I did yesterday that I am very much looking forward to and it's happening next month and I am just over the moon. Um, I'm not going to get into specifics but I want to focus on getting to the store at the bookstore. I need to like, I wish this would actually clip in my hair. I feel like that that's good. I need to make sure that this opens at 11. There's like no one here. Yeah, it says opens at 11. So we have about 15 minutes to sit here. Anyway, what I was saying. Yesterday, I booked a trip to somewhere that I have never been. And I am so very excited to go. And I am going, it's going to be like towards the end of March. I honestly have like a busy next few months. Not really. Actually, that's not true. Okay, that's just not true. Um, but it's like super exciting and it's something that I've never got to do. I've always wanted to do and I am like over the moon excited for it. Last night, I, how I said I couldn't sleep. I was staying up because I couldn't sleep because I'm stressing about so many different things. But also, I was staying up because I was so excited for this thing and my first thing that I do when I plan something, whether that's like a trip or anything, is I go on Pinterest. I start looking up outfits and I start looking up like inspo pictures. Like I'll look up this aesthetic and I'll start making a board to curate almost like a vision board for the trip. You guys know I'm a big like vision board girly. So I literally do that with like everything in life. Like even today, I will go and make a Pinterest board probably while I sit in here of like what I should get to like Super Bowl. Like what what foods I should get and stuff like to make. That's just how I am because I'm a very visual learner. So I feel like I'm a very visual person. Like I like to see what I'm doing. That's why like, for example, like with my notion and stuff, I feel like I'm very visual and I just keep on going on Pinterest and trying to build up that board and like watch YouTube videos and stuff. Like I'm so freaking excited and it's, it's going to be like here so quick because what is today? It's the 11th. Wow. Oh my gosh. People are like, oh my god, there are like so many people pulling in. Like there were just three cars that just pulled in. I need to hide my camera because I don't know if they're workers or if they're just other people like me. Regardless, don't want to be seen with my camera. I feel weird because I'm just like sitting here like, I can't wait to come in here. Yay, you know? So yeah, yeah, that's what's going on. talk to you guys while I sit out here and wait for Isaac because I came back by the house. I was just gonna run like these errands by myself and then I was actually <laughs> like getting onto the highway and Isaac was like what are you doing and I was like oh I you know just got done like do you want to go with me and he was like yeah so I had to then on the highway turn around like I had to get outside because I didn't get whatever anyway so I'm out here waiting on Isaac and we're gonna go to Walmart and stuff so I can pick up all the stuff for the Super Bowl so excited but I did buy two books in there listen I this month 
crazy book buying month for me. I just literally have ignored the whole entire like five book roll set this month, but I did say that I probably just won't buy anything in March. To talk about the bookstore experience, amazing. Loved it so much. However, I didn't know that there was such a ride or die community. I was the first person in the parking lot. By the time the doors opened, people were lining up outside the door. And I'm looking at myself and I'm going, is there a book release today that I don't know about? No, all of us were just trying to go in and get a table. People were lining up outside the door. I was like, I stayed in my car because that is a recipe for my anxiety to Whew. So I stayed in the car and I was like, hopefully I get a table. I mean, I did. I got my coffee. It was good. I had a great time. Very relaxing. And then obviously I took a browse around the bookstore. It's so cute. They have so many like bookish things and like they just know, like they just, they get it. And it's such a big bookstore too. I got two books that I've had my eye on this one for a while. This is You with a View. And I just kind of like this romance for February, even though I just keep on adding my February TV art. And it's like, babe, you are not reading all of those. I got this one. And then I picked this one up because I liked the cover like a lot like I really this is like and I'm gonna save this for like vacation like if I whenever I go on a beach vacation I'm saving this for that because also Emily Henry has a little blurb on the front says I'll read anything she writes and I have said multiple times that I will read anything that Emily Henry writes even her grocery list her notes app whatever she wants to give me I will read it. Emily Henry is like my favorite author. And so if she is saying that she's loving something, I am reading it. So yeah, I bought those two books. Honestly, I didn't like do terribly. Anyway, waiting on Isaac, I made my grocery list of what I need to pick up at the store. There's a lot. There's a lot going on today. Super Bowl. Let me know down below. Isn't it crazy you guys can watch this and the Super Bowl's already over? Like, they've already played the Super Bowl. We already know the winners, but I don't know the winners right now. But who are you rooting for? Well, obviously, I'm rooting for the Chiefs. I have my little crew neck on. I forgot my jersey at home. I got, Manny got me a jersey for Christmas, and I forgot it at home, but we're still repping today, so just gonna continue waiting on Isaac out here. Travis Kelsey just won a Super Bowl, and I'm going to bed. <laughs> This is how we're gonna talk right now. It is Monday. Oh my God, it's only Monday. That's crazy. She's being so sweet right now. Hello guys, I have not vlogged all day because today has honestly <coughs> just been, I'm not choking up right now. Well, I'm choking, but I'm not like choking up. I have been on the go, go, go since I opened my eyes this morning. Went to the gym, went directly to Target, got a bunch of stuff for Valentine's Day for people, got like my mom, Mila, Isaac, all everybody's Valentine's Day stuff. I had to get back home. I had to FaceTime Sarah really quick. I went and got my eyelashes done. I came back. I had a meeting. Me and Sarah then had to film the podcast and I just got done filming the pod. And now I have so much to do. I need to finish my reading vlog for the like reading pink books for a week video for Valentine's Day. So that has to be like edited and uploaded Wednesday. Today's Monday. I still need to read like a few other books for that video, but I cannot work in this environment right now because my room is 100% in shambles right now. Like it is honestly the worst that's been all year. So yeah, here's my plan. I'm about to clean up and then after I'm done cleaning, I will probably place an order and go get Chipotle. And while I do that, I'm going to swing into Barnes because Chipotle is literally directly outside of Barnes in the parking lot. Um, and I'm gonna be the Lulu, as I love to be, as the shirt says, and see if they put out Magnolia Parks because on the Barnes app, it says that they do. It says that they have it in store. I don't know if that they're just saying like it is in stock in store or if they're putting it out. I know that this weekend, Sarah found one of Barnes and bought it. So I really wanna see if they have that. If not, it's not a big deal because I mean, I can't really read that right now anyway, but I will be reading it starting probably like Thursday because I'm doing a different reading vlog, so. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna get to cleaning, even though I don't want to. Y'all, I am so tired and I have so much to do. I have a headache on a level a thousand right now, but I cleaned my room and went to Barnes and we have a haul. If you guys follow me on TikTok and Instagram stuff, you've already seen it by the time, but if you haven't, 
go follow me and you would be first come first serve to this stay hey if there's anything i want to teach you guys stay delusional queens they had it grand i mean like it's a day early it's a day early and i am feeling on top of the world seven a little bit why am i reading it right now 707 around that number of pages long i'm gonna read this i'm gonna read this wednesday night i'm gonna start on my separate reading vlog get to this i did get if only i had told her last week when it released but then sarah had showed me that she had went to barnes and i didn't know there's a barnes ignoble exclusive and i really loved the red so i was on a high from finding the book that i got so happy that i picked this up as well as I got this version of Bloodmarked because this month actually my book club's pick, which if you guys aren't a part of the book club, I have a Discord. It's literally always linked down below for you guys to join, completely free. It's just a really good sense of community so you guys can chat. There's so many different channels. Like my mods are absolutely amazing. They do so much for that. And it basically, I created that back in freaking 2022. 2022 or 2023, I'm trying to remember. And this month's book pick was Legendborn. This is the second book and they had it in this sprayed edges edition. And so I went ahead and uh, picked that bad boy up. It got this book because it was like sitting out the cover like this and it really caught my eye because I've been trying to slowly collect summer reads that aren't in your face summer reads. And because this year I'm not gonna do the whole entire like let's go buy summery books because I don't love them. I don't love books that are just literally summer type climate I've, I've learned that for myself but i'm more like like this like a literary fiction that's kind of giving you that summer vibe so this is called hollywood wives so that's the little haul that's what i've been up to i've also been running away from my responsibilities i was downstairs watching youtube with my mom which i wouldn't trade that for the world so i'm not mad about that but now it's time to try to get some stuff done i'm going to read for the rest of the night you guys are not going to be missing literally anything so don't you worry your sweet little hearts okay you guys aren't missing nothing yeah, I'm going to read for the rest of the night, film for that reading vlog. That way we can get that done. Anyway, I'm going to go read on my iPad and be an iPad kid. I'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers. <coughs> oh my God. Oh, my head is hurting so bad. Good morning, everybody. Today's Tuesday. I am back home from the gym. Obviously, I just got out of the shower and I honestly really need to hurry up and get ready. I think it's like 9 a.m. right now, but I actually am going out to brunch with my mom. Today, we're going for Valentine's Day, doing like a little mom and daughter Valentine's Day. We're going to, it's Restoration Hardware, the furniture store. They opened a restaurant in Indiana. And it's like in a mansion. So we're going there today. And our reservations are at like 11.45, I think is what she said. And obviously I need to do my hair, makeup, outfit, like everything. So I really need to hurry up. But I just wanted to intro the vlog really quick before I started getting ready. And also I am a tiny bit stressed today because I have so much to do i also while i'm out i need to run a few errands i need to put isaac's stuff together for valentine's day i'm gonna go down and see him tomorrow for the day for valentine's day and then probably come back home and start on another reading vlog that i'm trying to get up early next week and but there's just like a lot of stuff that i'm having to do today stressed a little okay i am ready to go i'm gonna throw on just some finishing touches pieces but i went ahead and just dice in my hair i feel like the curls are not curling today but i have this bow in the back of my hair trying to build up the energy today i'm just not filling myself today i think i'm just gonna throw on like a few rings okay i have in my little heart earrings and i'm ready to go i think we're gonna leave here soon
Hello everybody. It is honestly a long while later. It is 5.30 right now and I'm about to go for a run before the sun goes down. I think it starts setting at 5.18. No, sorry, 6.18. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get that done. It's only a two and a half mile run so it's not like a huge long run and honestly I'm gonna try to run this one a little bit faster, push myself, see how fast I can run it because um, my pace is really really slow right now obviously because i'm getting into like longer distances so when i'm doing these shorter distant runs i feel like it makes up the most sense in my brain um we're gonna test this theory today that if on the shorter runs i try to focus on pace and being quicker i feel like that will apply to the longer runs to make those be ran quicker i don't know i feel like that's maybe that's stupid i don't know maybe all the runners are gonna be like that's actually the opposite of what you should do hey i don't know it is 5 30 and the sun will start setting obviously we're gonna take chars with me you have been promoted uh anyway i literally just took a nap <laughs> and i woke up actually having an anxiety attack and just shot up out of bed and put my running clothes on I really woke up having an anxiety attack and i have been on the brink of tears ever since and also the video that i was trying to plan which was reading pink books for valentine's day i was going to upload tomorrow one I just did not have enough time to do it. I was just like, yeah, no. But I have no videos. I do have a book shopping video that I could edit and upload, and I might do that, honestly. So I might do that and uh, start the reading vlog that I'm reading Magnolia Parks in and start that tonight. But when I get back from my run, I'm going to take a shower and then put together Isaac's Valentine's Day basket. So I have to get a little crafty with that one. Oh, I didn't even talk about where we ate at was honestly so good the sweet potato fries amazing the salad amazing it was like buttered lettuce with like lemon oil on it and just like rotisserie chicken on top and i literally said i'm just gonna start eating that every day because it was so good now it's like gave me a new obsession but gonna go gonna go run hello guys back from the run i am about to start working on putting together isaac's basket i have the bare bones of it right now the card I need to sign that so right now i just have all of the like treats in it i don't know you guys want a haul we have some reese's and a little football tin some nerds gummy clusters i want to know what these taste like like this flavor i almost bought myself some of these i may just steal some of these from him because i'm very 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 intrigued on what these Tastes like a pack of Oreos. This is like an inside thing. We both love Oreos. And then some Ferro Rochers because he also really loves these. Those are all of the sweets that he likes. Oh, I also got individual bags of Boom Chicka Pop. And basically what I'm going to do is take these little, like I do this all the time, the baskets, bouquets that I do for people. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna like tape some of the bags and like have them sticking out. And I'm going to try to take these pieces of paper and fold them into like little envelopes. And I'm gonna like put his gift. I'm going to take some of the cardstock I got and I'm going to illustrate like a little ticket. And I'm gonna put what the tickets are to because actually it's already passed. But I got him tickets to like All-Star Weekend because it's actually in the it's actually in Indianapolis, 10 minutes away from me um, this year, and he's been talking about it, so I got him tickets uh, for like some of the all-star stuff going on this weekend. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do for the next foreseeable future. It's a little while later, and I think I have just finished some of the finishing touches. I still have a few things, I think, to add to it, but this is what it's looking like, just very big and cute i'm gonna add some more like tissue paper so here we have the little thing also i put i got these little jelly cats like does isaac know what jelly cats are absolutely not but i got this little lock like these two little locks that are intertwined forever because this is me and him me him i also got these isaac hates wearing a phone case annoys the living crap out of me but i got him one of the just like plain apple silicone ones because this is a now inside joke i went and bought him one and it works only works with like the mag safe cases and so i got him just like a navy blue phone case and to go with those find where to put it because i really did stack this basket and it's like stuffed to the brim but after i put these in here i'm actually probably going to wash my face and watch youtube for the rest of the night i am just so tired i honestly 
have not had a very good mental day and I'm just kind of ready for the day to be over. And plus I have to wake up early tomorrow because I need to drive down to Bloomington. So I'm doing all of that. So I need to be waking up early to make sure I have all of the stuff that I want done, done. Probably just be smart to head to bed anyway. Good morning, everybody, and happy Valentine's Day. It's 5, 10 a.m. right now. I'm about to go to the gym. I'm honestly really surprised that I'm up this early. Lately, I have not really been waking up for my alarm. So I have the hatch alarm, and if you guys don't know how that works, basically, I mean, you're, you're waking up by noise, but they try to like do like more meditative sounds. So it's not as jarring to wake up to in the morning. And also before the sounds even start, it starts with like a sunrise essentially. So it lights up your room. So it kind of gives the illusion that the sun is up. So I think like the light starts at like 4.30, like it starts to get like from dim to bright. And so then the sound that you guys have heard if you've watched any of the other weekly vlogs, like chimes that you feel like you're in like a spa or something, those start going off at 4.55. So my alarm actually starts at 4.55. Lately, I have literally been sleeping probably an hour past my alarm. Like I will wake up at almost six o'clock. Sometimes it is six o'clock and I'm like rushing out the door. So I'm like, holy crap, I can't believe. I like rush through the door. Like I have to like go to school like i'm really like missing school all of that to say that i'm just kind of surprised that i actually well i woke up before my alarm i just laid in bed and i could tell that it was like around 4 40 because the light was on but the sound hadn't started yet and i was like okay time to get up out of bed but i think it's because i know like my body if i know that i'm doing something the next day it does not allow me to like sleep in like i woke up all throughout the night checking the time obviously i'm getting ready to go to the gym it's a wednesday so it is gluten hamstrings day and then when i get back i'm gonna get ready I'm going to head down to isaac charlie knows the drill every morning she goes in and she lays with my mom so as i get up and i was like putting my sweatshirt on she like gets up and goes to the door and then just runs straight into my mom's room it's the funniest thing ever how dogs are just so intelligent hello everybody it's a little bit later it's like 9 a.m right now and i'm getting ready to pack up my stuff to head out this is my i'll show you guys my fit of the day I have on just some white pants and then i have this crew that i got from shop kristen jones i like showed it a few vlogs ago um it says all this in brains too thought it was appropriate to get all of my stuff together to head on out. Let's head on out. Hello. Hi guys. It is actually thursday right now and i didn't vlog yesterday really i just kind of focused on spending the day you know it's valentine's day focused on just having a day it's about 8 a.m right now i just got back from the gym i went ahead and did my two miles that i had to run today so that's already done don't have to worry about that i'm about to hop in the shower and then i have a super busy day honestly like busy weekend everything so i need to start editing the pod because yesterday was valentine's day so i didn't edit the pod and so i'm gonna edit it now so that i can get up today then after that i have a video to edit that i want to get up today and then i have a meeting at two and then after that hopefully maybe i might have to edit some more but then we're gonna start filming for a reading vlog i have at least two long reading vlogs and one of them is i'm going to continue the like can i finish my tbr so far this month i have read zero books on my tbr I have read zero of them, so that video shall be interesting. I'm trying to aim to film that, um, but first I'm going to do the, I'm planning to do a like reading new releases, and I think there's like quite a bit of books that I'm reading in that video. I'm very excited for that, so I want to start filming that as well in the next few days. I feel like I could get through that one pretty quickly just because they are super anticipated releases for me. Hey everybody. It is really like hours 
and hours later it is actually like six o'clock in the evening right now you wouldn't be able to tell because i feel like even like last month if i would have said it's six o'clock at night it would be so dark outside and it's slowly but surely starting to get where you notice like day by day a little bit later the sun starts going down i mean granted sun still goes down by like 6 30 and it's still utterly depressing i would say even like a month ago the sun was going down at like five so little wins really is all that matters but yeah earlier i got out of the shower and honestly i've just been go 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 ever since i just now feel like i stopped to take a breath I feel like just right now i stopped with like the things i like had to do today so i feel pretty good about it now i'm just now starting to focus on filming a specific reading vlog for the rest of the days like for the rest of today all of tomorrow, all of Saturday, all of Sunday, I'm just focusing on getting this reading vlog filmed and I'm excited for it because they're books that I'm very excited to read. So it's not like I'm like complaining about it, but yeah, I've just been super like just busy today with a lot of things that like had to be done. Anyway, I just, Charlie's really wanting me to hold her hand. I also just posted a little TikTok. So this is why I feel like I don't talk about my TikTok a lot. I am on TikTok and I did make it one of my goals this year to just like post more on there. So I just just posted one where I was like what do you guys want to see on here like actual content that you guys want to see because like I just post the most random stuff sometimes I'll post like kind of meme -y audios and very like niche things I don't really know how to navigate like you know like you see the cute little like days in my life or like I I feel like it's so hard because you look at yourself as a creator and you genuinely do not understand like what your audience wants to see from you because you are so hypercritical of yourself. I feel like I chatted about this a vlog or two ago. And with TikTok and Instagram, I've always had trouble with that. Where like with YouTube, I feel like I know I can sit in front of a camera and I feel like I can navigate that. But with TikTok, I'm like, I don't know what to post on here and I never have. So all of this to say that I posted TikTok and I was like, if I were to post more on here, what would you guys want to see? Like, is there specific content that you guys would want to see from me? And if so, please let me know because I'm kind of like in the dark about all of this. So I just did that. So I may later on just try to really like, you know, start like tomorrow or something like as soon as possible with um, like what you guys want to see and stuff and start. Cause I feel like you can also translate like TikToks over to Instagram. This is, this is hilarious. Okay, okay. Well, this is what happens a lot. She knows when I need this. And it's so funny because dogs do know just when you need energy. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Aww, you're being sweet. Anyway, I didn't know if this, I didn't know if this vlog what I don't even know right now if this vlog will be posted because I have not vlogged a lot this week. I have just not been feeling it. Not like not making videos. Honestly, I don't know though because I was supposed to do. So originally my plan was to do the reading like pink books for a week and I had been working on that video. And then I read the first two books I read for it actually really enjoyed. And then after that, every single book that I tried to pick up for that video, I was just not feeling at all. And I was like, okay, don't read these books just for the sake of the video. In the, in the sense that you like, you don't like them at all. And like this video is just honestly like not going anywhere don't waste your time on it and that was gonna go up on valentine's day like i had that planned out all month so then that didn't happen and then i was going the video that i uploaded today the book shopping video it was originally i was gonna post that yesterday but then you know like I, how i even said this morning like i was just kind of like taking a break don't need to really focus on that you know especially on valentine's day I was just kind of trying to focus, you know, like on spending time. Can't get those days back, you know? And like, I was like, I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'll just take care of it tomorrow. And I did, like ultimately, what's the difference between yesterday and today? It's not like there was anything attached to it. But I really haven't been feeling super motivated to pull out the camera, period. Not just like with vlogging. I feel like I'm in a slumpy part of life. Like not, not with like, oh, I'm in a book slump. It's just like, I'm in a slump. I just said I'm in slump with life. But then I don't know how to pinpoint it though because I I say like, you know, I still go to the gym every day. I still do what I feel like needs to be done. 
I just don't feel like there's any passion behind it. For example, I was at the gym today and I like did my workout, but I just felt so tired and like I didn't want to be doing it as I was there. And usually like, you know, like even if I don't feel motivated to be at the gym, it's like I still understand like, hey, I'm here to do this. I'm gonna put my all into it. And like today I just knew like even when I left the gym, I was like, that just wasn't a good, you know, whatever. Like I just don't feel like it. I do also feel like I'm just having a hard time even just like looking in the mirror and I don't know if that's like some other things playing into it but like one of the things is I am breaking out so bad but they're like major like it's happening over here it's happening over here it's making it on top of a lot of other things that I already struggle with self-image specifically the breakouts on top of it almost like is magnifying it for me of like picking at every little thing about myself so Obviously, if it's hard for me to like want to look in the mirror during the day, it's very hard for me to want to pick up the camera. That is really contributing because then even if I persevere and I'm picking up the camera, it's even harder to sit and stare at yourself for hours and try to edit a video and be creative and like make the video like a creative happy thing when you feel that way. So that's just my explanation on why this vlog probably sucks. For the rest of the night, I'm going to start with this reading vlog that I'm honestly very excited for. Like I'm hoping this kind of sparks some creativity, not passion because I'm passionate about every single thing that I do, but like creativity and like excitement, excitement. So before I do that, I think I'm gonna make dinner and then I'm probably just gonna work for the rest of the night. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog anything for the rest of the night because I'm quite literally just gonna be filming another video. So I don't, I don't really foresee myself doing anything like that. So I may just chat with you guys in the morning before the gym or something. Not, not too entirely sure. <laughs> 